Oof, we'll try. So, before we do this, um, this is New World. This is Amazon's game. Uh, it's pretty cool. I got a key from Lyric yesterday, like I said. So, I'm looking forward to playing some more. I did play about three hours last night with a friend. Uh, me and him were able to do a bunch of quests. It honestly, so far, I really like it. Um, and you'll see where it goes once we uh, create this first character here. But uh, it's a very neat game so far. There's just a few questions and you have cutscenes that are very, very loud right now. But you'll see. This is New World, ladies and gentlemen. Check this out. I have seen this, but I'm letting it play me, for right now. Have you witnessed their power? I have. We've all heard the legends. Every child has heard the legends of the cursed sea. The stories of ships vanishing. The audio is loud, but it does sound very good. Over the years, dismissed as fantasy, the nobles, the church. They all knew the truth. Something out there was growing. Something terrible. The threat grows once more as the bourgeoisie slumber. Your ship is stocked and your crew assembled. We can pretend no longer. Left unchecked, the veil will surely fall and all will be lost to madness and ruin. This corruption must be stopped. Uh, I'm not too sure if it is, but look at this. What? This game, I'm so impressed already. This comes out in 2021 and look how good it runs already. They have an entire year. <laughs> so this is us. This is me. This is the character that we're about to create. I should just leave it like that, but now I'm not. Because this will be my main character that I play while playing with you guys. Uh, so I think we're gonna go with go with this skin. And that hairstyle turned into black. Now they don't have too many hairstyles, but Jack Sparrow. But <laughs> well, they do have some good ones. So I'm gonna rock this guy. This seems to be my favorite hairstyle they don't really have like any type of like they have this but i think that poof on the top is a little too much so i like this one uh and then facial hair i think we'll go with this guy why is his beard so gray though is there a secondary color to it or something This is what I was rocking as my other character, this mustache. <laughs> that looks like Josh Brolin from Sicario. Wait, which one? Like this? Uh, I, I can see that. Yeah, if you're talking like this, yeah, I totally see that. That's a great movie, by the way, too. Or if you mean like one of these. I can definitely see what you're saying, though. <laughs> Not too many hairstyles can't buy it now. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to rock this. The 
and then we're just gonna do straight up Cassis. Yes. Now the audio is very quiet. So this beta runs until September 4th. So if I wanted to, I could play it all the way up until the release of Avengers, but we'll see how, um, how far we get into today since I'll have like about two times the amount of time that I did than last night. So most likely, uh, hopefully it will be leveling up faster and things like that. Um, the gear, so me and my buddy, even though we are searching the same items, doing the same quests, we both dropped completely different gear. By the end, I had the cultist robe that you saw a little bit earlier, um, and uh, a different outfit and stuff. But he had a completely like more of a royal looking outfit. Now here is the intro to the combat, and I think this is going to be one of the best parts of the game, and you'll see. It shows you how to do your blocks, your attacks, your dodge, and heavy attack. Then obviously you pick up the quest. I've done this about three times now, but you have to do it each time with creating a new character. Tab, then you got your shield. Um, I don't think this book does anything, but you have some meat. Look at the detail in that meat. I don't know. I mean, that sounded really weird. I don't know if it's real pictures of food or if it's just really, really good, but um, it looks pretty cool though. And then now I'll just eat something. I'm a fan of the style of combat rather than typical MMO. Yeah, so the one thing that's very interesting with the combat is, so there's a few things. When you attack, um, you have to be aiming for the target so they said that one of like their inspirations for combat was kind of like dark souls apparently um something similar to that there is no lock on there's no type of auto attack there's none of that um basically where what you swing at if it's in range you'll hit it also apparently um depending on so like say if you swing from the right when you go back and swing from the left your direction in which you're hitting the target can depend on how much damage you're doing so if you get a good direction directional hit then you'll do more damage supposedly um i don't know if i fully saw that yet in practice but that's what they say um when it comes to ranged uh weapons the it's i mean it's cool but it's also difficult at the same time because you have to actually aim at the like you you have to adjust for where you're aiming at the target because if you don't then you're going to uh you're going to miss and then as far as combat um i mean skills and abilities each weapon that you use you level it up as you level it up you get new skills and abilities from that um so mainly what i'll be going for is i'll probably be getting a life or fire staff and then using a bow or a musket as a secondary uh last night when i was playing i was i was able to get a life staff dropped for me pretty early on and um i had the cultist robes and eventually um you do you do, do yeah you do get a bow early on too um so i was using that instead of the sword for a little bit there it is yeah it's a, it's a pretty pretty looking game to be honest it's very cool uh hold on let me close this out 
and here comes one of the other little highlights of the the beta as well the first boss So confused on plot expect uh except there's a box and monster slash demons yeah so that's what i was saying right when i kind of started this the two things that i hope that they improve on and work on mostly is like story interaction and um and end game because without those two things in the mmo you can easily fail story maybe you don't need it so much but it's still like one of those things where you should have a, a decent story. End game, I think, is where it matters the most, though. So. And right now, I don't know if there really is that. But here we are. So now we're in, officially in the world, and this is where it begins as an MMO. Um, this is similar to where I spawned. Actually, it is the same spot. Just, I think, different environment. Okay, yeah, so it is. Um, Fire Nation 2. So here's the map. And you can pretty much get to just about all of this. And as you can see, you got little rocks and things that you can pick up. It kind of has, like, the survival aspect of a survival game, too. Which is pretty cool, um, I think. But then also you have the combat and character creation, uh, changing out weapons, things like that. So let's uh, continue these this quest here. We got some boots. Then you got your regular attributes, um, attributes, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna for now. It's free to respec until level twenty. Um, so for now, I'm just going to do that. And then once we start getting, uh, like a staff or, um, a ranged weapon or something, then I'll switch out. I'll respec in to new gear or nor new attacks. And it also does the cool thing. I, you guys can kind of see it right here. Um, little face icons. Those are players that are like within a certain amount of meters or whatever it is uh, close to you. So it makes for an easy interaction. They'll start popping up right here in this little gap. And from there, then um, you can invite them to your group and other stuff. So like Anvil right here. And it shows a little icon of his head, um, what he looks like. Oh my God, he has a voice chat on. <laughs> As the first person I saw that actually talked. I couldn't hear him though. The cool thing is uh, with fighting these enemies too. Is apparently if you. Basically if you get one hit in on somebody. Then you. Um, it'll complete for you. So even if like this guy is going for the same person I'm going for, if we both get a hit on them, then um, it counts for both of us. The one thing that I, I don't know if I truly like it yet or not, uh, but when you fight, um, 
One sec. All right, there we go. So we got just got a bow from that and some sandpaper. I'll fight this guy one more time since we're heading back. Uh, the one thing that is, I, I'm not sure if I truly like just yet, uh, the fact that basically if you're attacking somebody and you're in a group, um, it doesn't always, it doesn't count for you. So if me and one other person are fighting two different people, both of those don't count. Like we have to be fighting the same person for it to count for our quest or group thing. Um, I think it would make it cooler if like, if I was in a group with somebody and we were doing the same thing that, uh, it worked for both of us. So let me just check, um, make sure that this is on. Communications. Oh, it was going out the different, different setting. What is push to talk? Let me just see, just in case. V, press and hold, okay. Ping, shout. Oh, there's a, I didn't realize that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, it's a, it's a very ambitious game so far. Proximity chat, uh, sounds dumb, but also increased teamwork. Yeah. So, I mean, it can be a combination of either one, to be honest. And let me see. We do have some arrows here. And it's fairly easy to craft new arrows. So we need to gather nearby wood or wood from a nearby bush. Um, there's a lot of life skills and honestly, it's pretty cool. Like a lot of the stuff that you see, um, it can either be picked or gathered, which is neat. So like flowers that you see, uh, different like any type of animal that you see you can uh pretty much skin it <laughs> and take the meat so there's a there's a lot of different options out there um I'll go ahead and make one of each of these it's fairly easy to make the crafting items All right. Okay. What level are we? Three, four. Investigate the marked area on your map. So now we travel up to uh, the next area. I think it's like one of those hunting missions or something since we just got the uh the skin thing already started guild called the amazons before someone takes it it's probably already taken to be honest a lot of people i didn't even realize a lot of people were playing this game yesterday um i didn't even know that there was a beta out or anything like that All right, so we're gonna get some. So this is where like you need to be accurate. It's probably not best that I'm using an arrow or a bow right now when I have nothing put into that, but that's all right. Now we got some meat. Ah. 
Oh god, I'm gonna die. I have not died yet. Huh. Just made it. I want to get some more meat to make. I haven't tried any of the... Um, they do have a bunch of like muskets and stuff. I have not tried any of those yet. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. H apparently uh, lets you wave. There's also hatchets, uh, shield, obviously, swords, war hammers, which is basically like a giant two-handed weapon. Uh, muskets, bows, fire staff, which is fire, obviously, life, which steals life, but then also can heal. Um, there's a good amount of, I mean, it's, it's very basic right now, but still, it's a good start, I would say. All right, we need to make cook light ration. We make two of them. There's that. I got some duelist pants. And then now search crates near Kane's knot. I'm wearing my uh, Baby Yoda shirt today. It's Baby Yoda holding a Subaru. Uh, Subaru logo. I don't know. Yeah, we don't have any more arrows. Ah, here's the crates. The cool thing is, um, even though the, the crates are like your quest objectives, um, even though these are quest objectives, you can still get items from them, which is neat. So you can still get staffs, you can still get uh, other equipment. Yeah, I mean, the thing is that, uh, so right now it's not very popular, but yesterday there was one area uh, where you have to get 25 kills. Um, and there was like probably, it was pretty busy for the area. And the enemies weren't spawning really fast enough for everybody. So, like, everyone would hop on to one or two enemies at the same time. Um, so that. But it's just part of the, the MM MMO world most of the time. Like, they have to have one way or another have those enemies keep respawning. Because otherwise, people would never be able to finish quests. <laughs> Imagine if they didn't spawn, then it's just one guy that does. Oh, shoot. I thought I was going the right way, but I wasn't. Just one guy doing the quest, <laughs> and he can't, he'll never, he never finishes it. Oh, God. Now, if you're talking like a regular game, um like a regular RPG or something like that, then I totally get that. By MMOs, it's it's basically a requirement. I want realism, plays fantasy game, <laughs> exactly.
arcane bottles. Yeah, you'll see once we get to the uh the city, things open up a lot more. Chat is arguing about wow right now. I kind I'm kind of glad that I'm blocking chat <laughs> in a way. Uh-oh. 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 See if we can wait for it to respond. I have not. I will say this. My entire playthrough last night was very, very smooth. I did not crash once. And night see it seems like that might not be the case for today. <laughs> There's always a client update for Steam. Personally, I, I usually like chats on um, because a lot of times there's like missed things or there was like last night when we were playing um, a lot of the populations and this morning it looks like most of the things are, are just medium because it's uh, it's daytime by at night it'll probably majority of them will probably turn to high um, but there was a good amount of like communication and like actual help and stuff um in the chat last night so they can be useful for that kind of stuff yeah last night i wasn't streaming and playing <laughs> true true but still i will say that All right, so this is how this works. Well, at least we learn how to do um, how deaths work now. <laughs> we probably got that one hit on that guy and then died. Let's see if Taunt will help me out here. Uh, he, he unlocked the shield bash attack. Help me out, bro. If he doesn't, that's fine. Oh, bro, you're going the wrong way. Do you not see me? Help. Somebody. My leg. <gasps> Obsolete. Brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. You're welcome, brother. <laughs> Uh, there is proximity chat. Oh, snap. All right, that's cool. <laughs> I'm surprised not many people used it last night. All right, let me... Uh, we'll equip the iron arrows. So, yeah, definitely equip these two. <laughs> signal a friendly intention to that's pretty cool okay well that's pretty cool that um oh. i did not know that there was a uh, proximity chat like that And there it is. Um, so last night there was a ton of, when you get to the city, there's a ton of uh, different areas that you can, well, there's like an inn that's your basic inn area 
Um, but then there's also you can build camps and stuff. So there was like a ton of campfires all over the place. That was pretty cool. Ah. Ooh, they missed. Repay him and meet for his journey. If I see him again, I will. Ah, oh, man. That damn cat. Oh, we got some soldier boots. I don't know if I'm going to wear them, though. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot. I keep forgetting that you can equip it like this. Oh, whoops. What? Main weapon. And secondary weapon. There we go. Probably chilling in all day playing music. Yeah, once you see um, what the world looks like inside the city, the city area, um, I was actually saying last night that it would be a perfect area to uh, role play and things like that with um with friends because I, I i remember walking through like the bar um there's like a bar keep area and i was like dude this would be like a perfect area to have like a clan meeting or something you can also buy houses and and stuff like that um typical like mmo style game yeah you can do that in eso Guys just dropping stuff over here. Some duelist boots. Investigate the Tide Swallow Cave. I will need to turn right up here. 